Welcome to Bold Guy DIY. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can hide a hidden message inside a word search puzzle and how you can create a template to decode it. I've had escape room puzzles on my mind for a while and haven't made one on my channel, so I thought it would be a good time to share one with you that I've created using a word search puzzle. Now, if you haven't seen these before, they're just columns and rows of letters, but hidden inside this block of letters are different words that you need to find and circle. There are many different ways that I've seen them done, but one of the most common is just to use some of the leftover letters to create a hidden message. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create your own word search puzzle using an online generator, how to choose a hidden message inside of there, and then how to design and 3D print a template so that you won't ever know what the message is until you put the template on it. The project's gonna take a little creativity, some use of a word processing program, coding with OpenSCAD, and 3D printing. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The first thing I did was Google search word search generator and found this generator on education.com's website. And here all you need to do is enter the title that you want it to have, some words that you want to be found in the puzzle, and then the dimensions of the puzzle. Here I'm doing 15 by 15. I want to create a 150 by 150 millimeter table or 15 by 15. You can scramble the words, you can look up the answer key, and you can print it out if you want. But if you do choose to print it out, you do have to create an account on the education.com website. In my case, I wanted to move it into a Word template so I can size it properly. And so I just used it as my reference and then filled out the table that I created here, a 15 by 15 grid. And that's exactly what I need to be able to match up the size for the template that I'm going to create. Now, to create your hidden message in there, you're really just going to find combinations of letters that you want to highlight. I'm just going along with the highlighter here in Microsoft Word to choose the letters that I want to be featured in my template. And I'm marking them here so that I'll be able to map coordinates on my template and have it all match up perfectly. Now the size that I used for these cells, I used one centimeter by one centimeter. When you do the actual formatting, it's one centimeter for the row height and it's 0.98 centimeter for the column width because that's what's required in order to get a nice square. I think because of the cell padding that's there. As you see here, you could do it lots of different ways. You could choose to highlight uh, letters that spell numbers. You could use it to spell out a message. You can do all sorts of different things. It's really up to you, any kind of message that you'd wanna put or whether it's in code already or whether it's just a clear message that'll be displayed when you have all the letters highlighted. Now, you could also change letters out if you can't find one in the right order you need it for. But if you also want the word search to be solvable, you wanna make sure that you're not changing out letters that are part Part of a word that needs to be found within the within the puzzle. In this case, I made a word that says, to look, you need safe. That might not be the best clue, but with the letters that I had here, that was the easiest thing that I could think to put together. So once you know which letters you want, you can create a template. Now I'm gonna go based on the template that I used for an escape room puzzle recently. And so show you the OpenSCAD code that I used to create it. It's actually a super simple code. Basically you create one cube that's only a couple millimeters high and that same 15 by 15 centimeters or 150 by 150 millimeters. And then you create this list of lists. Here I've just named that list squares. And inside for each row, I'm just going to lay out the coordinates of where I want these holes to be inside the template. As you can see here on the first row, it's gonna be first row and second column, which means that it's going to create a cube there and subtract that cube from the template. You'll see as I actually render it, uh, how that takes shape. For each row, you're simply gonna specify if any of those spaces should be removed. And then when you lay it over top of your grid of letters, it's going to let that grid shine through. Because we've coordinated the size between the word template and the template that we're creating here, it's gonna line up perfectly when we're done. To subtract all of those squares from the list of lists, I'm simply going to run a for loop and for each one of those things in the list, it's going to take and find a starting point and then it's going to create a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter cube which will remove the material we need and expose the letters below when you put it over top of the word search puzzle. If I render it out here, you can see there's all the holes that I need for the particular puzzle that I've created. And it really can be anywhere inside the puzzle along the edges, joined together with other holes or single squares, whatever you wanna do for your particular puzzle. 
When you print out your Word document and combine it with your 3D printed template and put those two things together, you can see that in the correct orientation, it does indeed highlight the letters that you want to show and creates the secret message or code that you want to display. If you flip it any other way or turn it around, there's eight basic ways to do it. It's going to be unreadable. And there you have it, as simple as that, create any kind of puzzle you'd like. So there you have the steps that I took in order to create the word search puzzle and also the template to decode it. Now there's many different ways you could do this and so I hope you'll use this as inspiration for your own type of hidden message puzzle. If you'd like the Word document that I used to create the grid or if you'd like the OpenSCAD file, let me know by sending me an email. My information's in the description. I'd be happy to send it to you and make it a little bit easier for you if you're creating a similar kind of puzzle yourself down the road. I hope that brings you a little inspiration. I love all sorts of puzzles and things, and this one is just really enjoyable to me, both in its simplicity of execution and also some of the things that are required in order to pull it off. I love how it can be configured for all sorts of different themes, anything from a fun birthday to a creepy, scary, mysterious kind of escape room. So there's lots of flexibility and lots of things you could do with it. And I hope you'll try out some of those things in your own projects. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as I post a new video every week and there's always lots of interesting variety to choose from. Leave a comment below if you're gonna create this project for yourself and what you're gonna use it for, or send me an email as I mentioned my information's in the description. Until next time, whatever you're creating, whether it's puzzling or crystal clear, don't be afraid to be bolder.